hello everyone welcome to my vlog today i'm going to boil extra rice from this i can make variations of things like fried rice sushi or vegetarian rice crispy patties and uh, i always uh, uh, boil extra rice and keep in the fridge i can make many things out of this uh, this rice and i am going to boil some potatoes from that we can make sandwiches uh, mashed potatoes or uh, you know cutlets now first thing in the morning i'm going to have my breakfast this is with egg pancake with egg and uh, there's a honey i drizzle some honey and may uh, the uh, nutella and i cut some green apple and oranges and with this sweet pancake this green apple goes very well you know sour tartness with sweetness great combination so whenever i have pancake i make sure i cut um, green apple and also orange i'm gonna serve this is for my younger son jake uh, he loves pancake with the nutella and i just layered it and sliced it and uh, i'm going to serve him with the uh, walnut and almond and green apple and oranges he doesn't like uh, mango because of his taste you know after post covid um he said mama i don't like mango so this is for my elder son jay generous amount of nutella spread with eggless pancake and uh, with mango slices and green apple some walnut and almond and whatever the extra mango mama not going to waste i'm going to have this one and also extra pancakes see you don't like to waste you see <laughs> this i'm going to have with chai again i'm going to prepare lunch for my kids uh me and uh, my elder son going to have coconut curry but jake uh, because of his taste and smell in you know, after post covid he said mama i can't taste anything coconut curry i just don't feel like eating so i thought i made so much rice i'm going to make fried rice so this is a diced carrot there's a corn and um diced mushroom i always keep carrot corn mushroom in the fridge so you can make anything you want you know emergency if you want to make something if you have little rice you can just make fried rice so i thought of making fried rice and this is the mixture of sauce dark and light soy sauce pepper salt sugar vinegar uh, i'll put the link description box all the recipes okay uh this is a uh, vegetable oil and till oil and with the uh, garlic i'm going to saute them until they're fragrant then i'm going to uh, add all carrots and mushroom and corn i'm going to saute them for a 2 or 3 minutes and i'm going to make little space in between and i'm going to pour egg mixture and i'm going to scramble these eggs I'm going to add rice and I'm going to combine well stirring them continuously I'm going to add some soy sauce mixture about 2 or 3 tablespoon and i'm going to constantly i'm going to fry this rice till it you get that nice and you know um burnt um color on the rice that's how you get the flavor and it smells so good <laughs> now this is peanut uh, powder uh moongpali powder i always keep in the fridge i powder and keep in the fridge and i always add when i make fried rice and uh, sometimes for the subsies so almost done now see it's nice and burnt rice and it is so delicious actually in uh, in 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 thailand in mbk 
um, the shopping mall they make like this uh, fried rice sticky fried rice and I'm gonna I garnish a few the spring onions and I'm not gonna waste this sauce I'm gonna keep in the fridge for the next time with boiled potatoes I'm gonna make rice veg patties here um, there's a four potato slices and I'm gonna mash them well add some pepper and salt and mash properly and adding some butter and again mash it well I'm gonna add some corn for this cutlets I mean patties or tikis or whatever you call it I'm gonna dice uh, onion ginger garlic like this I'm gonna dice some carrots here I have diced zucchini here I have um, a non-stick pan a little bit of vegetable oil with the sesame oil and I'm going to saute this onion until they're slightly brown in color. Now here I have corn, diced carrot and zucchini. I'm going to cook this for another two or three minutes. And I'm going to add light soy. This is cheese sauce, black pepper, salt, I'm going to salt it in for 5 more minutes. I'm going to add this to the rice mixture and I'm going to allow this to uh, cool a bit to the room temperature. Chili flakes, sriracha sauce and tomato ketchup. I'm going to mix all these things, stir fry veggies and chili flakes and sauce to combine well. When it uh, cools down to room temperature and you can keep this in the fridge for two or three hours before making tikkis. You can make tikkis, you can make uh, burger patties, you can keep this mixture at least for two or three days. Whenever kids are hungry, when you are hungry, just make a tikki patty and you can enjoy with the ketchup or you can make a burger. As a snack in the evening, you can make lemon size uh, small uh, patty or tikkis uh, you can have it the chutneys or tomato ketchup I'm going to sprinkle little sesame seeds or you can add a peanut uh, uh, powder also it gives amazing flavor so we finished our breakfast um, lunch is ready I have few hours um, before lunch I'm going to edit my Bible study uh, vlog uh, I do all my editing thanks to my kids, all my bachas. They said, Mom, don't depend on anybody. Um, try to do everything on your own, you know, be independent. So they taught me how to edit. So I'm very, very grateful for my kids. Now lunchtime, my kids bachas are hungry. So I'm going to stir fry this again uh, uh, just to warm it up i'm gonna add more butter jake loves butter so i'm gonna add more butter and stir fry them this is the final result garlic fried rice voila he's gonna enjoy this and me and jay gonna enjoy this mangalorean curry uh, this is um, uh, coconut curry with the shendige and pickle Yum. And this is black Thai pea beans. I made coconut curry and the shendige. So I'm gonna enjoy this coconut curry. 
and I have almost my this pickle mango pickle is over I have to buy raw mango and make mango pickle mm. it's so delicious I'll put the link in the description box for this pickle recipe for evening my kids uh, they work out at home they do gymming, gymming and all that so I'm thought of making a sushi for them so I have uh, here zucchini and uh, carrots and mushrooms and I have a uh, little rice leftover rice see I made so many dishes I made cutlets I made fried rice now I'm making sushi here I have toasted sesame seeds and partially cooked veggies and uh, sushi is almost ready this is the best way uh, to eat after workout uh, it's the healthiest way to eat you know I always i make and give it to my kids and uh, you can keep this in fridge for a day i'm so proud of him look at him and after this he'll go for a, for one hour cycling And uh, my elder one also for an hour. He'll look at mommy recording. Very proud mommy. You can see in the background. <laughs> now dinner time. I'm going to make this uh, small patties. And I'm going to serve them with ketchup and or green chutney. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. And um, flatten it a bit. Like this. And I'm going to pan fry them until they're nice and gold and crispy they had sushi and uh, with this patty they're almost the full they said they don't have any dinner so this was a dinner so good night next morning uh, I made a masala dosa aloo so felt like having dosa Indian south indian breakfast so i made dosa i put lots of butter and in some dosa i put even uh, onion garlic uh, spice and i'm gonna enjoy first and i'm gonna serve my kids also Next day again I have to prepare something. I thought of making a burger. I had leftover mixture of this uh, veg rice patty. So I'll make this nice burger patty. And because I always uh, make sure I keep at least uh, you know bun in the fridge. So fatafat if you want to make something you can make you know sandwiches. So I had this packet of buns so this is mayo mixture mayo mustard sauce sriracha sauce ketchup and some spices so I'm going to use this as uh, burger sauce I put a little pepper salt it's amazing taste you know I didn't have breadcrumbs what I did I had little cornflakes and I toasted a few slices of bread and pulses for two or three times till I get this breadcrumbs uh, consistency. Then we are not adding any eggs, so I had to put plain flour, maida, and pulse it again for two or three times. Then you get this perfect consistency of breadcrumbs. And I store it in this bottle. This is Nutella's uh, uh, empty bottle. I don't throw these bottles. I always keep, you know, to store these kind of breadcrumbs or some spices and all. See, beautiful glass bottle. So I'm going to flatten this patty with the breadcrumbs. Um, I'll make the sh shape of the bun, the size of the bun and flatten it like this, it's perfect and uh, uh, pan fry this with a uh, little bit of oil 
till you get browned and crispy patty so let's flip this patty perfect it's nice and crispy see and see this dabba i always throw don't throw this dabbas i always store salad leaves see it's nice and crunchy it stays for a long time see anyway i'm going to add barbecue sauce on top of the patty uh, it gives amazing flavor now everything is ready patty is ready now here are our bun and mayo sauce salad leaves and cheese i'm going to toast this buns i'm going to add a little butter and i'm going to toast till nice and slightly brown i placed a cheese slice on top of hot patty it's nice and melted nicely melted now i placed a bun mayo slice mayo sauce patty with cheese tomato onions and lettuce perfect burger just like mac burger better than mac burger alo tikki so i'm going to make some iced tea lemon iced tea with lots of ice refreshing <laughs> with ice and mint <laughs> so here are ice tea i'm editing my bible study and i'm trying my burger trust me so delicious so delicious So today evening I'm going to give them nice soup, clear soup. Last time sushi, now clear soup. I have carrot, zucchini, mushroom. I have baby spinach. I'm going to saute with a little bit of olive oil, onion and uh, uh vegetable stock until they're nice and brown. and until the onions are nicely caramelized is nice and you know i can literally smell onion brown onion i'm going to add water now and salt pepper i'm going to add all the veggies like zucchini mushroom and carrots and i'm not going to overcook these vegetables only partially cooked just for 2 or 3 minutes just give it a, uh, let it simmer i'm going to add this arrowroot uh, slurry to give the it's a thickening agent better than uh, cornstarch i always use arrowroot uh, it's a healthy option and now i'm going to add this green baby spinach and this is so healthy so and believe me trust me guys it's so yummy this soup i'm going to i'm going to serve my kids then i'm going to mommy is going to have also Scary, zucchini, baby spinach, 
and very light and clear soup. Evening perfect after exercise. This is perfect too. And Jake was very hungry, so I just gave him fried rice again. He loves fried rice. And I also made uh, Lebanese hummus. I always make this also. I make and keep in the fridge. And uh, we buy these crackers and we just have this in the evening as a snack. For dinner, I made the Punjabi style paratha, like, you know, stuffed ghee. I mean, yeah, stuffed ghee and we ate only one or two chapatis and with little sabzi and sliced onions. We don't go too heavy in the night. This kiska paratha, jeka. That's why there's a lot of butter. <laughs> more, more butter. So now you have your with green chili chilies, um, sliced onions with lemon and rotis. This I'm going to serve my kids. And mama is going to eat now. I'm going to take some more chili. Some green chili. I'm going to have green chilies. You want to have some? Mm. Amazing. Can you believe this? Oh my god! He's eating beans! <laughs> it's okay to give beans. Okay, uh -huh, guys, it's okay to give beans. You like it? You want sushi? <laughs> so sweet. How are you eating like you're not being fed only since 2 3 days? <laughs> little babies here. Oh my god, little baby. Hello, little baby. Our small baby is here, see? Huh? See how sleepy he is. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, one. Mm, oh, he's oh, hungry. Head massage. Oh, he's hungry. You want bum massage, head massage, stomach massage? No, you're not hungry because nice massage, no? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. <laughs> Luckiest person on earth. Remember last week's cyclone, my kitchen was flooded with water. So we had put two umbrellas outside the kitchen, invented by Jake Satlani. So I had to cover the whole area with plastic sheet in case if there's any second, cy second cyclone. So I put a little plant also. And uh, now we are safe. I don't have to clean the kitchen whole day. 
Now to restock my kitchen with all the items like veggies and dry fruits and sauces and all these items. Once a week I had to shop. After long time, after pandemic, after lockdown, see who's here. After long time, after COVID, first time I'm seeing this. Hello, where is your better half? Where is your better half? I'm in vinegar, pickle, carrot, moody, and uh, green chilies. See, I don't throw this pasta sauce bottle. This is amazing to store pickle like this. And mango pickle. Just made fresh mango pickle. I don't throw craft cheese bottle. I store it like this. It stays fresh. This is our terrace. Come on. Yeah, wait. Oh my God, so beautiful. And we're gonna have coffee here. Chapati and sunset. Chapati, shakar chapati. <laughs> you love shakar chapati. Nice, na? View. What all? Tulsi. Nice. See, mirchi. Green chili. Tulsi, Brinjal also there, no? aloe vera, lemongrass, <laughs> and Brinjal, ah, Ajwain, Oma, this is very good, huh? this is very good for the stomach, and Brinjal. So, watermelon. Are they tapered any tighter than this? You have to cut it, no? Yeah, I'll do it. No, it's okay. Mali, Akhil, I'm sending lunch. So, I'm making fly lies. You must be thinking how many times you're making fried rice. Yeah, because Malvik also have problem with the taste, you see. So, I had to make something bland. And this is a stir fried beans. I'm going to make stir fried beans. Sticky fried rice is ready with all the vegetables just like thighs tight and the salad is ready so all I just have to mix now with all beans and corn tomatoes cucumber and refreshing salad quickly I'm gonna stir fry this with garlic and soy mixture simply and delicious this one green beans nice and tender green beans I just finished uh, adding dressing. There's a kidney beans, corn, green apple, mint, coriander, and tomato, white onion, spring onions. Such a healthy salad. I'm gonna lay this lettuce. I'm going to send it to Mars. So I'm gonna put all the leaves around and I'm gonna add salad in between. Like this, just like restaurant making sushi, sushi rice, nori, vegetables, sesame seeds. Let's go. Let's do it. I sprinkle little peanuts and sesame seeds with all the vegetables, sushi. There's so many of them. Some of them for us. I'm gonna cut this. And the Lebanese, all type of cuisine. Mali, 
Hey, sushi is ready, hummus is ready, fried rice is ready, stir fried things is ready, and salad. And Joe, Molly, and Akhil. God bless you. Be fast, come fast, take this food for my daughter Molly. Thank you, mommy. Already eaten a portion of the salad. That's the sushi and the stir fried beans. Yum. Hello. Thanks, mother, for the yummy food. Uh, we have here hummus and then we have egg garlic fried rice. We have salad which I love and I'm gonna eat. And then we have sushi. Mom has learned how to make really great sushi. Her recipe is online if you all wanna check it out. And then we have some beans. Um, these are just like stir fried beans. And it's yum, thank you so much. This looks like such a feast. Um, cannot wait to dig in. Even though my taste in, like is not fully come back, I'm very excited to eat something other than dal jawal. All is well. My bachas are happy. Mom is happy. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And God bless you and stay safe. Bye.